Oh, I think it's uh, to get people together with uh, different angles. I mean, we are focusing a lot on the respiratory system. And as you know, it starts with the nose and it ends up with the small airways in the lungs. So get people with different experience and different uh, skills to get together and discuss that. I think that's very, very important. Most patients with lower airway disease like asthma or COPD also have upper airway disease and vice versa. About half of the patients that have upper airway disease have lower airway disease. And it's very strange actually that we made this cut here at the larynx and say this is one speciality, this is the other speciality. In my hospital, for example, we already have combined clinics with pulmonologists and allergologists for 20 years, but it's still quite uncommon. So I think the best we can offer uh, physicians that treat patients with lower airway disease alone or upper airway disease alone is to talk to each other, to combine, to have to see patients together, to learn from each other and really understand the possibilities and impossibilities of the other speciality.